for plates in by that date the judge is usually leaning, okay? Okay, that's 25, Roger. Drive safely, okay? You all right with Lesky? I think so, Will. No gunplay was necessary. Went down without a fight. That's good. Gina. 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 What are you doing later? What? Um, what, uh, you got, got any plans for later? A what? I'm sorry. I was just wondering if, uh, you know, maybe you, you and I could uh, get in a, you know, situation. A situation? Well, did, did you make any plans for after work? Attention units 11 and 12, we have a domestic disturbance. Norman apartment, scene manager behind building off Curry Street Alley. That's a 10-4, units 11 and 12 responding. That's you guys, you better get going. We can talk later, right? Yeah, okay, sure. Coming so quick, guys. I need officers. Well, we had a report of a domestic disturbance and an assault. Is that right? Yes, right up here. All right, just hold on a minute. Is it your husband, ma'am? Yeah, yeah. Did he do this to you? Oh, look, it's it's not his fault. Look, he's got our no, kids. No, 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 no. Just a minute. Is there a gun in the house? Oh, yeah, he owns guns. Why? Okay, let's go. Uh, What's your husband's name, ma'am? Uh, his name is Charlie. Um, I'm Annabelle. Look, he's been drinking all day. Maybe we should call some backup. No, no, no. Let's talk to him. Ma'am, I'm gonna need your help. Yeah. Charlie, open up. Who is it? It's the Riverside Police. We want to talk to you for a minute. Charlie, I mean, come on. Open up the door, please. Hi there, sir. Can we see your hands, please? What did the... Uh... She call you guys or that nagging bitch in the office? No, no, no. I heard that, Buster. Hey, hey, You're hey, dead hey, living. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Talking to me like this. I'm face. Charlie, listen to me. Listen. We're just going to come in and get the kids in some clothes so she can take them to her sisters, okay? Charlie, I told them I, well, I'm not going to press charges or anything. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> okay, Charlie, we're, we're going to come in, so just take a step back, okay? No, Keep no, your hands in front you. are not coming in. We're just going to come on in and get the kids, okay? No, no, you're not it's coming okay. in. You're not taking my kids! Get out! Oh, 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 honey, no. No. to catch the bad guy, sir. Okay. I like that attitude. It's mandatory in a shooting situation to be examined by a psychiatrist within 48 hours, okay? Case closed. Hey, Will, sign the retreat. Let's get out of here. Yeah, all right, we're ready. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, Gina, I thought we were trying to aim for the chest. You popped that guy kind of low, didn't you? Yeah, you were trying to tell us something. I'm not answer to him. He would have been really hurt. Good morning. Oh, Gina, don't play that. Who's this? If I were you, McCade. Pick for guns. Uh, Gina, if you're not uh, doing anything after work, you want to join us for a drink? We'll buy you a couple drinks. Uh, just a guy. <laughs> All right, maybe I'll see you there. It's Gina. No, I'm at work. Okay, I'll call you later then. No, 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 I'm fine. No. I just needed... Um, 
No, I wanted. I, I just wanted to know if if you were all right, if you needed anything. No, that's it. Okay. I'm fine. Get some rest. Mom, I haven't heard from Granny in a while. Is she okay? All right. Maybe later. Bye. So first he wishes for a, a two handicaps. He goes, okay, that means now your your wife is even. Ooh. Then he says, oh, okay, and then I'll wish for $5 million. And what Gina goes, yeah, okay, then your wife gets $10 million because she gets double everything. And the guy goes, okay, then I wish for a teeny weeny heart attack. And you are marvelous, and these guys, you're marvelous, and uh, I'm the Indian because I got the morning shift, so we're going to do it. Oh, we square? Yeah, yeah, I got right. Yeah. I got you. Take it easy. All right, later. You want to push around on your head? Can't be right back. I still don't get it. Listen, I'm gonna take off. I've got laundry to do. So uh, <laughs> no, I got, I got, uh, I got everything. That, couldn't do it. Okay. Good night. Yep. See you guys. Yep. <clears throat> you, you all right? You... I'm fine. I mean, really? You... Yeah. I mean, this just hasn't hit me yet. Katie, can I get another one, please? Want another drink? No. You know what I really want is a piece of hot apple pie a la mode. Do you have that? <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> you want to go get some pie? That, that, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go get some pie. I have a wife and two kids. Yeah. yeah. It's funny that you never seem to mention that. If I had, would you, uh, would you be sitting here? No, no. Well, that's why I did. So how come you're coming after me? You have a family at home. How's that going to work? Um, well, to tell you the truth, things haven't, haven't been very good at home for a long, long time. They haven't. Uh-oh. Every married guy says that, you know, just to string girls along. I don't want anything from you. I'm, I'm, it's not like I'm asking you to go to a motel or anything. You're just sitting here having a couple of drinks. Let's just keep this professional, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, don't you think? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. You don't have any pie? Homestead Woods power lines near river. Respond to location and assist in search.
to keep everybody back. Rope off the area. And you remember seeing him in class that day, that's correct? Yes. Well, anyway, as soon as I have the information, I'll pass you on. Yeah. yeah, take it. I'm on hold. Thanks. How was the memorial? Pretty emotional. I mean, the whole town showed up. They're scared and angry. And Cade Machado got nowhere at the school yesterday, so it's down to the kids who were involved in the extracurricular activities. This is amazing. I figured because we're rookies, it would have been years before we'd worked on a murder case. Um, yes, this is Officer Pulaski. I was holding for your assistant principal. Okay. I don't understand what's going on in the world anymore, officer. Must be some psycho from outside. What do you think? Um, can I ask Sasha a question? Please. Thanks. Sasha, you knew Jimmy, didn't you? Yeah, he was only 12, but he was a good guy. He was funny. Yeah. You remember hearing or seeing anything strange or suspicious no, at school or in the woods that might help us catch this person? How am I supposed to help? I don't know anything. She was a cheerleading practice. Well, the reason I ask, there were a few people fishing, and um, a woman seems to remember seeing a boy and a girl together in the woods around the time of the murder. No way. She knows that I would kill her. It would have been a double murder. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, Sasha, do you have to cut through the woods to get home from school? I didn't go through the woods. I went over to the arcade. Yeah. Yeah, put him through. I need to talk to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what do you got? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just told that cop I wasn't even in the woods. No, I, I heard what you said, but I didn't really believe you. It, it was you in the woods with that boy, right? Please don't say that to my mom. I don't want to get in trouble. I won't. Nobody has to know about that but us. Really? Um, maybe you saw something? get in trouble. Sasha, Timmy was stabbed 18 times. There was a guy sitting on the pole. Hey! Do you think you could describe him to our police artist? You could just tell him you remember seeing someone? Taken? Oh, he was about 12. Excuse me, just for one minute. Chief? Chief? Could I see you guys for one minute? Um, this is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kulu. How do you this do? is Chief Cheney. How do you do? Their son, Phil, has been missing for three years, and uh, they feel as if they may recognize the suspect from the 6 o'clock news. Not maybe. His name is Kyle Timler. He was like a son to us. He was in our home on and off for years. He was a buddy of our son. When was the last time you saw this uh, Kyle Timler? Kyle stopped coming around the same time that our son became missing. We didn't see him again until we saw him on the news. That's when we knew. Our son is dead. We know that now. Kyle Timler killed him, too. Um, Excuse me. Excuse us. Looks just like the drawing. Sure does. We gotta talk to this guy right away. Go get him. 
I'd like to come along if that's okay. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea, Gina. We'll take it from here. Well, I found Timmer. You said it was good police work. It, it was, Gina. No one's taking that away. Would you guys just go talk to this guy and see what you can find out? Yeah. yeah. Don't you think I should go? Gina, would you get the cooler some coffee and sit with them? They're going to be here for a while. Can I get some coffee for you, too? You, uh, you can call me Kyle. You don't have to call me Mr. Timber. How do you do? What, you want to come on in? Don't you want to know why we're here? You want to talk about the death of Timmy Curtis, right? Jerk, though. I mean, he's Mr. C, Mr. Cockadoodle Doo. Well, that's someone there. I'll verify the sure. Got my card. You go to Dustin for fingerprints? That's fine, Kyle. Why does it bother you that I'm looking through your house? I mean, you seem to have no objections that I've gone through all the rooms, through your bedroom, looked through your toys. Why are you being so good to us? Well, I just want to help you out, is all. That's all. Are you, are you fellas hungry? Do you, are you, do you want something to drink or something? No, no, no. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. No. We're fine. Sit down, Kyle. Right. Speaking of drinking, you've been arrested four times for drunk driving. As a matter of fact, you had your license taken away. Would you say you have a little bit of a drinking problem? Uh, no. I, I have a getting caught drunk driving problem, actually. I, I know, I really shouldn't kid around about that, but because uh, I know you guys are concerned and I appreciate that. And God willing, I'll avoid any more unusual happenings. You mentioned God. What are your religious beliefs, Kyle? You don't mind me asking you such a personal question. No, 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 not at all, not at all. I believe in God very strongly. Um, I guess you can say that I'm, I'm kind of filled with the Holy Spirit, I guess. Well, have you ever had a occasion to speak with the Holy Spirit? I mean... You have visions? Uh, visions? Um, yeah, you know. Well, would you mind sharing one of them with us? Okay, well, um... One time I was on the highway and a voice told me to vacate, you know, the road. So I swerved onto the divider and the car that was right behind me just smashed into the car that was next to me and I was saved I, I mean I guess you might say it's a gift or something it sounds to me like he caused a damn accident have you seen the composite you've seen the composite haven't you Kyle you realize you've matched the description of men seeing the woods perfectly the bangs your eyes even right down to how should I say the uh, dental challenge you have there uh, well, um, the girl is, 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 is mistaken. Um, I wish you'd believe me, Will. Why would a girl who's never seen you before, who has no axe to grind with you, pick your photo out of 25? I don't know. It just, it, it happens all the time, doesn't it? Would you be willing to take a polygraph, Kyle? Well, no, of course not, because, um, I mean, as I'm sure you guys know, they're, they're not very reliable. They're not uh, admissible evidence, am I right? So why would I, why would I want to go through all that? Kyle, uh, your high school records indicate that you have a high IQ, uh, maybe even genius. Wow. Well, Yet you work as a french fry cook at Mr. C's. Well, Einstein what? failed math, you know, so. <laughs> why? Why? Uh, Well, what I'd really like to do is be a, um, a police officer. Kind of like you, Will. You know, maybe you can give me some pointers or take me out on patrol or something. 
Let me work the gumball. Huh? Tell me about the house. It's funny enough. I didn't find anything, but I got a strange feeling about it. You wanted to see me, Chief? Sheena, review the Timler file and type up a synopsis for me, will you? Put it in my computer. My secretary's gone for the day. When do you need it, sir? Right away. Tonight, if you have time before you check out. I'll do it tonight. I want to read through it myself. Yes, thank you. What do you recommend? Uh, this guy's pretty sharp. He's pretty clever. So we were yeah. thinking of using an undercover officer wearing a wire, someone Wait. he hasn't seen before. And Roy, get close to him. Roy, hang on a second. This is a small town. You're talking about big time money and manpower. We haven't got it. What about this? We talk to the prosecutor. We get somebody from another state agency, and the state pays the tab. No, we tried that. They won't budge. They're not going to go for it. But besides that, Chief, we don't have to go outside the department for this. I know we got a small department. We haven't dealt with anything like this before. But what if Timler did kill the Kulo kid? What if he kills again? That means we have a serial killer in our hands. We got to deal with this, and we can handle. It. We got to move Look, on it now. Well, I understand what the problem is. I'm trying to explain the logistics to you. We don't have the men. But we can. We can take. Listen to me. It's been about 48 hours, Gina, and I, I know it's kind of soon, and I know you haven't had a whole lot of time to let all this sink in, but I was wondering how you were feeling about the shooting right now. Oh, I feel okay. I feel fine. It just happened, you know. Well, for most cops, a shooting, even a righteous one like yours, can cause some emotional problems. Well, I'm not... Sorry that I shot this guy. He was drunk and crazy. I think he would have hurt his kids. How do you feel about that? I was just trying to do my job and go by the book. If I had it to do over, I'd aim higher and fire twice by the book. You know, in the years that I've been on call to the Riverside Department, there have only been two other shootings besides yours. So maybe you could educate me a little bit about what goes on here. Well, this is the only guy I've shot so far, so I can't help too much. Okay. Um, have you had a chance to talk to anyone in your family about the shooting, to, to share it with people that you trust? Yeah, I talked to my mom. Good. And how did that go? It was fine. It was very helpful. And what about your dad? Well... Uh, I grew up with my grandmother, so we did fine. All right. Get it to me as soon as you can. Well, this afternoon, I gotta go. Okay, let's get started. Jeannie, you know Dr. Kohanek is you two have gotten together and discussed the emotional aspects of this... Okay. I feel fine. That's good. I've always said our police officers don't need a psychiatrist. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. All right. We have decided to put a female officer undercover to uh, catch Kyle Timlin. I'd like to take a shot at it. We assumed that's what you would say, Gina. I mean, I am the right age, and there's no way he can know me. I just moved here. My neighbors don't even know I'm a cop. Well, Gina, you did very well in the shooting. This is a whole different ballgame some very serious misgivings on my part and especially on the part of Sergeant McCade for your safety some very real dangers here don't take it personally Jesus. we need to invent a fictitious woman someone who can get close to Timler you know be his girlfriend let me interrupt a second I want to emphasize girl friend friend if he tries anything sexual wise or otherwise Machado or McCade we're going to be right there so I'll be wired every second Okay. Who, who am I? Who is this girl? I will end up the details for you. Um, child abuse, drinking, sexually loose, stemming from low self-esteem. She's, uh, she's wounded. She's vulnerable. Okay, can I say something? I think we ought to just st stick to the basics on this, all right? I mean, because if she has to remember all these lies, it's, it's just, it's, it's too dangerous. She should just use her own first name and uh, her own life, relate to that up to high school and take it from there. Okay. Got your part-time job over at Mr. C's. Nobody will know who you are. We'll get you costumes. And... I can help you. Uh, I, I, I can. Um, I think I can handle that part. So when do I start? Monday morning.
shirt around here. This is a soda machine, ice machine. Keep that full all the time. Plates, coffee machine, very important. There's the jam. Also, our storage lockers here. Load of Zimmy. Steamer is real. French fries. Kyle. Gina, she's no. I want you to show her how to prepare a French fryer. All right, I'm about to take my break. Take it later. Take that crap from him. I wouldn't. Here you go. Someday I'm gonna French fry his wiener schnitzel. <laughs> Love the All right. Um, sorry. Okay, this is the lard. Okay, just cut it up into slabs. Two, three, and just slide it in. Real easy, okay? Two, three, and each one. Okay. Yeah, Disgusting. It's not so bad. All right, you got it? All right, don't bother me anymore, okay? Don't worry about it. Do we need other drugs? Do we need other drugs? Yeah. Gina, I don't know what you mean. Gina. Gina, this guy's complaining he doesn't have any pickles on his double deluxe cheeseburger. Remember what I told you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Order up. from here, I can tell you that much or I'd know. No, I'm not. Hey, those nails yours? No, <laughs> they're fake, but I did them myself. Really? Rhinestones, sparkles, a lion face. <laughs> oh, what? People think I'm weird. Hey, Gina! What if you are going down to Romano's for a drink? Why don't you come along? Um, yeah, maybe I'll meet you there. As a jerk. We were talking before about you being watched by the cops because some kid got killed. Yeah. I'll find out about it sooner or later. Sort of the local outlaw around here. Cops really think you did it? You don't think I did it, do you? I don't know. I don't really give a damn as long as you don't kill me. <laughs> I like that. Don't worry, I won't kill you. Everything is shut down. I'm sorry about the other night. I was, um, I was a little righteous. You know, I, I never gave you any reason not to trust me. I, uh, I guess I was just mad when I found out you were married. Well, I, I should have been straight with you right up front, but uh, can we uh, start again? Yeah. Good. Here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to be honest with you. I was I was very nervous after the last time. I. But we're not doing so bad for our second date, huh? Have you ever cheated on your wife? You, you, you don't make this very easy. Have you? No, 
No. No, I've never cheated on my wife. I, I had to know. You know, um, <clears throat> she's, she's always been good to me. She stood behind me and I want you to know that I'm not here because I'm some lonely, abused husband. It's not that. You love her? Um, I, I can, uh, I can live with her. I, I mean, we're comfortable together, but, um, um, there's, there's no passion in my life. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I want passion. And, uh... I, I think most people just settle for being comfortable. And I want more than just being content with things. That's... Maybe that sounds lousy, eh? Oh, it doesn't sound lousy. It's just that someone always gets hurt in these deals, you know? sleepwalk through life because I don't want anyone to get hurt. I... I don't know. I only know how I feel. How do you feel? Um... I think I was hoping... What? That we could be lovers. like this in front of me, so... Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest with you. I... Because I... I don't want you to get hurt either. I know. You're late. No. It's my stupid car. It wouldn't start. Really? What's wrong with him? I don't know anything about him. Just put the key in and turn. That's all I know. Yeah, I took a couple of them. Well, that's no problem, because uh, I'm pretty good with engines, and, and tomorrow's our day off, so maybe I could uh, I could stop by and fix it for you. Okay. Save you some money anyway, then. Right. Do you bike? Uh-huh. Because uh, afterwards, maybe we could go for a ride or something. Okay. the last job you had? I used to just live in babysitter for this rich couple. I got fired. Really? Why? What happened? Katie said I hit her kid. Yeah, and did you? <laughs> yeah. My father, he was a barber. 
and uh, every Saturday when all the kids were coming to get their hair cut, you know, I was the one that had to sweep up all their hair, you know. And those kids would not stop screaming. I'm, and, you know, I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. So I bet you had a lot of friends in school, huh? Oh, yeah, right. Tons. Really? I'm, I'm surprised. Shut up. Don't do that. I, I'm You're lying. I don't want to Yeah, you got me. I figured that about you. So what do you say? You say, you think we're going to be friends or what? I don't know. I don't talk to very many people. So much crap going on in my head, you wouldn't even get it. Sure. So what do you think about sex? Like, what, 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 are, what are your views on, on the sex act? <laughs> I was raised real strict, you know, real mm. religious, so... so... Of course I... I slept with a lot of guys in high school. Cheerleaders hated me. I don't know. It's no big deal. Yeah, did they ever come up to you and do this? Put it! You can't just do that. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, look at them. Look at all them. Working mommies, working daddies. Just dying every day of hemorrhoids and heart attacks, migraines, because they're so... You're so worried about doing the wrong thing, you know? I mean, do, do you, you want to end up like that? No. See, in my head, there's no static, you know? There's no whispering. Like, it's not right, but I, I want to do it, but it's wrong, but I should do it, and I want to do it, but he won't let me do it. You know, you know, screw that. I spend most of my time worrying about what other people are thinking. Exactly. I don't have any of that. See, in my mind, there's no... There's no... What? No static. There's no noise. In my head, it's just as quiet and calm as Siberia, you know? It's just, it's just drifting snow, you know? It's just like, it's just getting happy. Tell your fortune for you. Come on. Keep it to me. Yeah, okay. Here's your lust line. There's your bus line. Oh, oh. I see death. And someone's gonna die. I hardly know you. Why are you telling me all this stuff? Well, because I think I know what you want. I think you want to be set free. And I think you'll do anything to be set free. Concerns about breast implants tonight at 11. Primarily educators in the country. Hey. <laughs> smell like fried food? Uh, yeah. French fries. <laughs> what are these? It's a uh, luggage. I'm going to stay here for a while. Did you leave your wife? Yeah, I, I want to make a clean break. Does she know about us? 
You love her, right? Look, okay, we'll, we'll talk about this later, all right? Come on, we got to be to Kyle's in 20 minutes. I don't know what you uh, want me to say. Say? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. There's nothing to say. Why don't you take a shower, all right? Come on, let's go. Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> hey, tell me. Tell me. No. You're weak. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How did you get this out? Oh, come on. It was my mother's house. And, uh, no, no, come on. Don't change the subject. What happened to your mom? Okay, she accidentally took some pills and died. <laughs> Now, come on, why be so secretive? Don't you trust me? I can't. I can't tell you this. Forget it. Come on, come on, listen. You t I'm sorry. You tell me something. I'll tell you something that nobody else knows. Yeah, right. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. It's your turn. It's your turn. Come on. Let's bring into the big leagues, baby. Just leave me, okay? This is heavy duty. You can still turn me in for this. I'm liking the sound of it already, boy. Go ahead, drink up. Yeah, how, how much can I get for you, I wonder? You always get mad at me when I ask you questions. Now you're sitting there asking oh, me all these questions. Yeah. Hey, nothing, nothing can outdo what I've done. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Fine, I'll tell you. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> I went to see my mom, yeah. okay, and I got pretty screwed up. Okay. You know how that song goes. Oh, hey, skull. My mom wrote that song. Yeah. However, now she's decomposing. <laughs> That's funny. Sick joke. Come on, come on. Okay. Come on, go ahead. Okay. Um, so, uh, I went driving around, you know, drinking, and, um... <laughs> yeah? Hey, what's the matter with you? Come on, finish. What's wrong? I just have a stomachache. Oh, cut out. Come, come on, Gina, don't put too hard again. Um, so anyway, I'm at this intersection, right? And there's yeah. this little old lady at the corner about to cross the street. Uh, and you smashed her flat out of a grape. <laughs> you ran her over? Yeah. How no. did you know that? You really ran her over? Yeah, the paper Good. said she was like 79 years old or something. I found paint from my car on her nose. Ha! Oh, that's funny. Not bad, not Listen, bad. All right, all right, all right. getting better. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one of my hit and runs, okay? All right, I was just cruising along. You know, cruising along. I was drinking a couple of beers, and I was just waiting for just the right guy, just the right person to come along. And this guy comes walking in the road, right? So I run him over, okay? And I stick him in the back of the trunk, right? And he was a bloody mess. So naturally, I assumed that he was dead, okay? So I dump him by the great school, and... Okay, listen to this. Turns out that he's not really dead, so... So I guess it doesn't really count, does it? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I feel you? good. Um, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, it's, it's just at the top of the stairs, the end of the hall. Roy, I seem to remember receiving a bulletin last year about a hit and run in Kenosha. What were the particulars on that? I didn't work that one. But I think a guy got run down from behind, body dumped near a school. A lot of internal injuries, maybe brain damage. Yeah, I, I remember it was real savage. Oh my God.
Whatever it is, I don't know about it. Okay? Everything's all right. Everything's all right. Come in. I need you to make a phone call. Hey, I'm working. I was in here okay? this morning. Remember, I bought some coffee. Remember me? I'm a police officer. What's, you? What's your name? What's your name? Gracie. Gracie. I'm coming. Gracie, all right. Just make this phone call. Lady, don't go anywhere. It's all right. It's all right. This is to happen to me. Listen. I can't even get a job at gas Gracie, station. Listen to me. A guy's gonna answer the phone, right? And I want you to ask for, ask for Gina. So what am I supposed to say? I don't care what you say. Say you're a girlfriend. It's an emergency. Just get her on the phone. Hi, sweetheart. Is Gina there? Well, this here is Gracie. Her friend? Why don't you just put her on the phone, cowboy? Why? Because we got some girl talking to do, that's why. It's for you. Hello? Is this Gina? Gina. Gina, the wire's dead. No, I'm fine. I'm having fun. No, listen, Gina, get out. Get out of the house right now, all right? Oh, God. Yeah, borrow the dress. I never wear it anyway. He just told you everything. Everything he told you is true. Are you nuts? What do you think you're doing? Well, listen to me. Everything he told you is true. It happened when and where he told you. We can nail Tim with a son of a bitch. We can nail that bastard right now on attempted murder. What, what do you think you're doing? You wired, little girl? What are you talking about? Wired on what? You're like on speed? Oh, uh, don't you act stupid. I'm coming in. It's over. I'm coming in. No. How did she get my number? I gave it to her. I never gave it to you. I got it off of the work assignment sheet at Mr. C's. What is your problem? Stand Sorry. still. Stand still. Hi, feel me up if it's such a thrill. One second, I'm coming in, Gina. Don't you screw with me. Listen to me, Gina, it's over. Hold on, okay? Come on, get the phone, will you? This is direct order. Your wire is dead. It's over. I'm coming in. Now get out of the house right now. I can't do that, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye. I gotta get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. Get your, hands, get your hands off me. Oh, what? Are you mad at me? All yeah, I tell you all this stuff, and what do you do? You search me? Oh, well, you're acting really weird. Well, now, I'm acting weird. I'll tell you what, I'll see you tomorrow at work. Oh, okay. come on, don't be hey, hey, get your hands off me, all right, or I'll kill you. Okay? Oh, all right, I'll tell you stuff. Oh, maybe more I'll tell you some stuff. Because I taped it right to my skin. I was in a hurry. Gina, I told you, you got to put gauze under the tape because if you don't, when you sweat, it shorts it out. Okay, I know. I know that now, right? All right yeah. Are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm fine. How many beers do you have? Oh, my God. What are you, my mother? Maybe this is too much for you, huh? Maybe you just had a back way. I'm fine. Too much for I'm fine. Maybe sounds to me like you got a little hairy last night. He almost told me about the killings, Roy. I was that close. This guy confessed to a hit and run like it was nothing. We gotta rattle this guy, shake him up a bit. Maybe he'll make a mistake. Now, every place he goes, he's gonna see his face on the wanted poster for the murder of that kid. If he rips it down, we'll have someone right behind him putting him a new one up. Gina, you know him better than anyone. What do you think? I think he'll love it. He loves the whole game. I think we should stop playing games and make sure he doesn't kill any more kids. Well, you got any ideas? Yeah, I got one. Maybe my gun ought to go off by accident. Maybe that'd do it. That's funny. That's I gotta fair. go or I'm gonna be late. He's here. Kyle's here. He's at the bar. Can't see us together. No, no, he knows you guys. If he's relax. Just buy a pack of cigarettes. 
So I can't see you. All right, now the ladies room is right. Wait a second, he's leaving. He just left. He's gone. Did he see us? He was just buying a pack of cigarettes. I was supposed to meet him in an hour. What do you mean? He wouldn't ride all the way across town just to buy a pack of cigarettes? Relax, Gina. It's just a coincidence. Just, just making a for a pack of cigarettes. Shh, you. Now, Gina, where's your car? It's down back. Okay, now look, I want you to give us a couple of minutes. We're going to go outside, make sure it's clear. And then you get up and you walk out the back door, right? You're going to meet Timler tonight. Everything's the same. Nothing's changed, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Everything all right? Yeah, it's fine. Well, you're late. So this is where I hang out. You like it? Yeah, I guess. I like the animals on the wall. That boar, deer, and Kyle Timler. There he is. What do you think, huh? Little mm -hmm. How much are you worth? I'm just kidding. You'd never sell me out, would you? No. Because you're either mine, you know, or... I mean, you're just some damn doll that... That I don't care anything about. Then I go rushing, rushing back Catch up. Catch up, killer. I wonder what it feels like killing someone. No, wait a minute. What about that story that you told me? About the old woman with the paint on her nose. I mean, she's dead, right? You tell me. Felt good. It felt good. Well, it's a power thing. It's, it's definitely better than... Booze or sex, you know, or, or drugs. What, what, you think you're killing somebody? <laughs> Never know. What? <laughs> Get out of this damn place. Place, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. And, and it's, you know, it's dark. Let's go. Why are you so afraid? Is it like something that you're not telling me or something? No. Oh, Can you hold my hand?
place is? You don't. This is my place. This is my special place. Here I feel like so Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, because you see how strong it is. It's all right. No, 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 you no. brought me out here. No, because I'm trying to share something with you. I brought you here. Because you're always telling me stories about what you, you did to other people. Right? And I don't care about that anymore. Now, I need you to tell me what people did to you. What do you mean? Well, like... Didn't you say that your dad was never around? Like, how old were you when he left? I was eight. Yeah, and what happened? He left, and my mom got so weirded out that my two brothers went to live with him, but she wouldn't let me go. She wanted someone around to take care of her. Someone to blame. Okay? No, it's not okay. There's more to that story, isn't there? One day I called my dad at work and I asked him to come and get me so I could live with him too. And he said, okay. He told me that he'd come and get me after work and that I shouldn't tell my mom that he would explain it to her. So I put my stuff in the suitcase and I sat outside on the porch and I waited for him to come. It got darker and darker and it got cold. I hated the dark, but I didn't want to go inside in case he came for me and I wasn't there and he'd drive away. And Dad never came, did he? No. My mom came home. She saw me standing there with my suitcase and she went insane. She was drunk, you know, she dragged me into the house, into my bedroom, screaming that I was nothing. She said my dad didn't want me. And then she emptied my room. She took all my things off of the shelves and she left me in there. I just sat in my bed in this empty room. I knew that I wasn't ever getting away.
in the company of darkness will continue. Join us for Nightcast at 11. We'll tell you about one of the biggest bank heists in American history. This one happened tonight. I'm Paul Gonzalez in Play Doh Ray, where efforts are underway to hold back the high tide and heavy surf from the coming storm. I'll have a live report. And in Health Watch, the government has doubts about an alternative breast implant. The story at 11. My mom came home. She saw me standing there with my suitcase, and she went insane. She was drunk, you know. She dragged me into the house, into my bedroom, screaming that I was nothing. She said my dad didn't want me. And then she emptied my room. She took all of my things off of the shelves, and she left me in there. I just sat on my bed in this empty room. I knew then I wasn't ever getting away. When she puts on her uniform, does she change? Does she, does she change her personality or something? It's, it's, you don't know the half of it. It's not, it's not, the, it's not a uni It's Timler, you see? It's Timler. She, she's, she's living in this guy's basement. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Let me, let me tell you something. When you look into the abyss... The abyss also looks into you. Now, I've listened to these tapes, Wait, what, and I know what, that Gina's in trouble. Uh, and what, yeah, okay. okay. I hope you not. just sit down no. let me talk? Can I have the tape, please? Can, can, yes. Thank you. <sighs> so good. Yeah. Well, I think you are... So beautiful. Nice. Oh, no, yes, you are. I really think you are. Heck, I chose you. How come you never tried to do it with me? <laughs> well, I, you know, I, I think a guy's got to uh, respect a, a woman. I really believe that. Yeah, are you saving yourself for marriage or something? <laughs> I just think that we're the same. No matter who you think you are, what you think you're doing, you know, there's a house. Be real easy to do. Where? Uh, by the river. Rich people. How do you know? Well, I was watching this kid playing basketball. And uh, followed him to his house. And he left the basketball outside and he went in the side door. It was open. So, you with me on this? Whatever it takes. Let's do it. My God, he's already looking for another kid.
say there's someone in our house. Just stay here. Stay here. You were gonna shoot him, weren't you? He had it coming. What do you mean? We got him. What's your We got nothing. He's gonna walk away from you. Are you gonna shoot him? You gonna kill him? What's that about? What's that about? This power garbage, huh? What do you mean I don't understand? You don't understand. I'm trying to help you, and this guy's trying to kill you. Listen to me. Just because I slept with you doesn't mean you own me, okay? I sleep with lots of guys. Why don't you take the cuffs off? So, uh, how'd you get out so quick, huh? Who'd you bribe? I don't know. They let me go. So did they question you? God, damn right they did. Mm. I was thinking of leaving town for a while, you know, just let this whole thing blow off. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that you'd... you'd turn me in for the $45,000 reward. No. I didn't tell him anything. You don't look so good. Yeah, oh, I've been having bad dreams at night. These uh, red-eyed demons in hoods come and take me away. It really scares the heck out of me, too. They tell me they're gonna let you bail. Oh, yeah, but... I mean, they, they know that they don't have anything. And they say burglary, but... I didn't even take anything. You know, they don't know anything about me. Oh, really? Uh-huh. <laughs> so you, you gonna come see me when I get out? Oh, yeah. Okay, good, because I, I got a little surprise for you.
Hey. Hey. Have a little party here? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. You should get out of here. No, no, no. Come on. You got a big day. Come on. Ah. Doing Just doing my job. What have you been drinking for three days? You stink like booze. Oh. Huh? Come on. You gotta wash up a little. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna get sick? Huh? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. No. Yeah. Yeah. get you just say the code words i'm scared say it clearly so we can hear you and we'll be there okay i'm not gonna let anything happen to you don't worry i promise good luck here he is Do you mind if I drive? All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Did you remember that I like tuna fish? Yeah, and dill pickles, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. I, I got to stop by the house, pick up some beer. I couldn't carry it on the bike. You got to have beer? All right, well, let's swing by. Just take a second. Come on. So, so what would you think of my, my little surprise? Huh? What, you mean killing Damien Maris? <sighs> you 
keep like trying this one. to get me to tell you that I killed him. Why is that, Gina? Why is that? Don't think. Why is that? Why, you, why what is that? Talking about? You just why is that? Come on, get upstairs. No, stop get upstairs. it. I'm, no, I'm waiting in the oh, No, 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 no. You can't leave. Don't you touch my damn hand. Don't you touch it. Come on, Gina. Don't you touch it. What are you gonna do? I saw you with that cop. I saw you with that cop. What are you gonna do? Ow, ow. You did it for the money, did you? For the $45,000, tell me. I'm sorry. You're sorry? They came to me with all this money and I didn't know what to do, but they don't have any... You know, I should kill you now! I threw myself to you, okay? Look. I'm wired. Scared. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. don't she don't, just said it. She no, said I'm scared. No, no, no. She said I'm not scared. She said I'm not scared. She's telling us not to come in. She's still in control. Don't do anything. I'm not scared of you. Is there a recorder? Is there somebody listening to this right now? No. The recorder's under the front seat of my car. When you want to go look right now? Come on, we'll go together. I want you to believe. No, 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 no. Who are you going to sell these tapes to? The cop. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I don't know. The cop. Who? Who? Don't lie to me. I swear to God, I will kill you. McCabe. <laughs> McCabe. <laughs> hey, you really played it straight with me, huh? Hey, you want to go to my room? Okay. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Kyle, huh? I have to go to the bathroom. Well, you gotta go. You gotta go. What do you want to do now?
Show me how you killed them. Well, but... Uh, don't you see, I didn't just kill them. They were chosen to share with me. Chosen? day I was talking to that girl Sasha and I saw Timmy running down the path from the school towards the river and after she left I went looking for that boy and I took out my knife and he said why are you doing this I said, shh, just be calm. And I stabbed him right here. And after I finished, I dragged him out and put him right there in the poison oak face up. His eyes were open. He had Baby blue eyes. I had really pretty eyes. <laughs> the Davy Maris boy was riding his ten speed down the path. Him him I had to chase down. And it was funny because he said exactly the same thing that all the others said. Why are you doing this? As if he didn't know. But he knew. His eyes. His eyes saw my power. kids need you and you need them yes I don't I don't regret anything that happened I don't I won't forget any of it either
look pretty. So, um, your arraignment's tomorrow? Yeah. But between us, you know, they don't even have any motive. They don't have any weapon. I mean, the worst I can get out of this is maybe the breaking and entering thing, but that's my first offense. Kyle, Kyle, I don't think it's going to be about that. Well, why? Why? I saw Timmy running down the path from the school towards the river. And after she left, I went looking for that boy. I took out my knife and he said, why are you doing this? And I said, shh. dragged him out of there, put him right in the poison oak face up. His eyes were wide open. He had baby blue eyes. Really pretty eyes. The Davy Maris boy was riding his 10 speed down the path. Him, him I had to chase down. I guess I don't know why we're wasting time talking about when I was a kid. Uh, I had problems with my mom. Uh, but I loved her. I'm sure you did. How did it make you feel, Gina, taking care of your mom when she drank? All those years? Was there anyone there to take care of you? You know, in my experience, I found that a lot of cops are adult children of alcoholics or they're from dysfunctional families and as cops ACAs want to make everything right they want to make it real nice and tidy and put it away and they want to handle all their problems with very little emotion and they're used to that because they're used to taking care of the parent and then they take themselves and they put themselves last and they take all that emotion and then they bury it. They just put it away. How did it make you feel when dad never came back for you? You were just standing on the porch, all alone in the dark. All those emotions, Gina. Where did you bury them? Next on Nightcast, a murder mystery. A 12-year-old is found dead inside a vacant apartment. It's happened again. A huge heist. Robbers escape with millions of dollars. The rain starts coming down. A live report on the one-two storms packing a powerful punch. The FDA wants to know more about one type of breast implant. Next. Get ready to fly to the future. To dangerous alien worlds, premiering tomorrow, the Space Rangers. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. Now get ready for your local news.